Hello, this is Clint Locklear from Predator Control Group. Also have a website, Wolfer Nation, and we have a trapping podcast every Friday called Trapping Radio. And I'm going to answer an email today just because this is another one of those questions I get a lot, and I think that it will be uh, easier for people to find than me re- emailing the same answer over and over again. So this says, Hi, Clint. Hope all is well in Tennessee. I have a question about a picture I saw in your Beaver Blitzkrieg book. Picture page about 20. It shows you with with the proper way to tether two traps to one chain. It's hard to make it out. Join hookup in the picture. Any information would be appreciated. I'm one of the few in my area that doesn't use a drowning setup. I'm glad I'm not alone. I really enjoy the book. It's nice to read someone who writes like they talk. Thanks again, Scott. Scott, it's pretty simple, man. Um, the way that I set those up, I don't always use two traps. So when I'm going out, and I've changed a little bit since that book, to be honest with you. So when I was doing that book, I was doing a lot more on really big water like the Tennessee or the Sunflower down in Mississippi or or some of the the rivers, the Tennessee over in Louisiana. So I was on big open water, great big bodies of water. And I was using a longer chain. And the way I learned how to use a long chain was basically from Craig O'Gorman and that's the way he taught me. He was using 18 foot of chain. Now you have to keep in mind, Connecticut, Tennessee is very different from Montana. They have very shallow water. It's very fast moving water and there's not a lot of stuff in it a whole lot of times. Their rivers are basically our small to medium creeks. So, you know, I was, I was going through that method, had really good luck with it, even on ponds. But I've, over the years, man, I've shortened that chain down to unless it's on big water, I've got a bunch set up now that's only on eight to 10 feet of chain. I've got some down to four foot of chain. If I'm in really thick areas like a swamp, what I don't wanna have with a beaver or the chain setup like I'm gonna tell you is to be able to go wrap around a bunch of stuff. That's where you're gonna get in trouble. So if you allow a beaver to do that, that's kind of, you know, that's the trapper's fault, not the beaver's fault, and you're gonna have problems with it. So depending on your, your uh, chain link, the, is, is, I'm going to say this before we get into your question, is very important to your location. So if you're thicker, go shorter. Uh, if you can stake it out in the water, even with a shorter chain, you're going to be better off. You know, so a little bit of that has changed from the book, at least in my personal experience with making sure the beaver is always you know, healthy and happy when I get there. Now to hook the chain up. So when I'm, when I'm rigging my beaver traps, I've always got a end swivel on one side and I go up to the end swivel that's on the trap and in that distance in between, like I said, it could be four foot, 10 foot, 18 feet, whatever I think it's gonna be. So that's one unit. I may use that as a single unit or I may decide to double up if I think I need to on some of the sets. And how I do that to keep everything, all the swivels functioning is I will go to two links below the last end chain swivel that's on the trap of the original unit. So it's just, you know, it could be a trap with the normal chain with the end, the, the end swivel and then a section of chain with the end swivel on that. I will go down a couple of links and I'll hook a J hook with an inline swivel right there, but make sure that the part that um, closes is the one that has the rivet through it that's going to your chain so nothing can come open or get out of whack on you and then if i decide that i need to hook up another trap you can run another j hook into the swivel that's on the original trap you're going to be adding for the second trap this kind of sounds like who's on first and who's on second but what normally what i'll do is i'll get those little quarter inch quick clips and I'll run one one way, and then I'll run one the other way. No way a beaver can get it undone. It's quicker, and I don't have to carry any type of tools with me. So all I've got is a pocket, and I usually carry a dozen of those in a, in a coat pocket. And then if I need another trap, I can pull it out on that original unit, hook it two links below the chain where I've got that extra swivel just kind of flopping around out there on its own. You're good to go. That way everything can swivel depending on which one you catch him on. So that's really how I do it, and that's how simple it is. And go out there and catch them beaver, man. Long change is the way to go.